Okay, we will see here. Me. Eh? The weird thing was the controller I had plugged in didn't even have an analog stick on it. It was just a Super Nintendo controller through USB. But apparently that was enough. So here we can take a good look at the path we chose. We had decision point one here, which was into the first chromatic doors. Probably hit the right button, that would help. Decision point two, which was where we allied or betrayed Luna. Decision point three was where we had a choice of two doors and were railroaded out of a third choice. And then the decision point where we allied betrayed with K. So from what I'm seeing in the chat, we got one person wants to see the other door at the second door choice. And we've got two people that want to see what happens when you betray Luna. And honestly, yes, we're going to have to go through all of these paths at some point in time. But two votes to one here. We're going back to Betray Luna. Because there's a significant chunk of game hidden behind there. Jumping! We don't have time to talk about this. Choose Betray. Well, the good thing is we never have to make this choice again. We can always just skip to the parts we need to. And since we've seen all of it before... We don't want to betray her, we just want to betray her. Okay, you won't let me skip past this. As Fai and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running towards the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer. Ten Yoji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? <laughs> Were you telling the truth? If our PP hits zero, do we really- Well, you chose Betray because of what I said, right? Don't worry. You made the right choice. You better not have lied to me, so I'd choose Betray. Well, Zero will tell you if I lied or not. Zero. Yo, what's up? Besides side effect, we get to see Zero again, so all is good. Ziggy! announce the results you'll see in a minute let's go Sigma hey what do you mean zero's gonna tell me hey Fi, hold on damn it good 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 <laughs> looks like you're all here finally let's get Ready to rock! Ember Decks Game! Round one! The results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Surprise, surprise, Luna still allies with us. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Six. 
Sigma? Why did you and Fight do that? All we had to do was choose Ally three times, and we could all escape together. After this, we only would have needed two more rounds, and we would have all had nine points. But now we... Why? I hung my head. There was no way I could look her in the eye and try to explain what I'd done. It was me. I told him to betray you. What? There's a way to get out faster. If you're successful twice with Betray, you'll get three points each time, which gives you six. That means you'll have nine BP after the second AB game. I know that. Is that why you chose Betray? So you can escape before the rest of us? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to get out first or anything. Just wanted to have a little leverage. Gee, that sounds familiar. How is leverage supposed to help you? Well, I was planning on getting out of here with everybody else, and he... You're lying. What makes you think I'm going to believe that? The eyes met for a long moment, but all I could see in Luna's was sadness and disappointment. Fi opened her mouth, then shut it again and looked away. I was about to apologize to Luna when... Hey, what were you thinking? I'm sorry, Alice. I didn't think you'd choose Ally. What? You really think I'd betray you? Well, no. That's what I thought at first. But Kay told you to choose Betray, didn't he? Yes, I did. I was sure you would vote similarly. Are you listening? I'm not going to vote Betray against Clover. Is that so? You never considered that we might choose to betray you? What? Clover would never choose that, of course. But what if I was your sole opponent? I understand it might seem strange of me to say this, but who would trust a man who hides his face? If I were in your position, I would be quite certain my masked opponent would choose Betray. Well, but it wasn't just you. Clover was there too. Yes, she was. But if I'd chosen to end an argument by force, do you think she would have had any chance? I was certain you'd choose Betray for that very reason. So that was why you did it? Yes. After he explained his thinking to me, I thought he had a good point. It's all right. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. That was when I finally noticed Dio, Quark, and Tenmyoji. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you, I'd trust that kid as far as I could throw him. And at your age, that can't be much. Yeah, this time we actually see the full argument between them and not just the end of it. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on it. It looked like things hadn't gone as planned for the other teams, either. Nonetheless, we all seem to have reached some sort of truce. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. I possibly could skip this, but there's zero three. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get nine BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right you are. So, let me just close up. The Abidex gates have closed. Round two of the Abidex game will be the moon round. Moon cards 
will be required to open the gates. Moon cards. Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore since I've got suns on them? Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to look for cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. But I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number nine door. So it's over when someone gets nine BP. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on. Of course, you could also get stuck just below nine BP, where every bunny just keeps going back and forth and back and forth, money and losing points. After all, if there's no bunny with nine BP, the door can't open. If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round three and round four. And round five, round 100, round 2000, you might even go all the way up to round 24 billion, 9 million, 4,897. <gasps> Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. Hey, can I ask you something? I don't know. Can you? There's rules about who can go into the secondary doors, right? Like, you have to have three people, exactly. Yeah? So? Well, what about the number nine door? Are the rules the same? Nope. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing, though, Siggy. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors? Maybe it's not 100% true. What? What do you mean? Well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, <laughs> I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two doors. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. So it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding ding ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, how many people there are! Wait, hold on a minute. Do these things even come off? No, yes! They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door in escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Bio. I think you already know. Hmm. A little bit of a backshadowing, maybe? I don't know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? <laughs> Considering what we know happened about how he killed the old woman and stole her bracelet and put it on, you can see why Zero was asking the questions that Zero was asking here. Of course I do! Oh, well, I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You. Die. Here's an exciting fact! Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 beep. 
someone dies on a TV show. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. Yeah, Zero is a little like a little kid, yes. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round. Ha <laughs> ha Oops. I guess it's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be Tammy Oldie. Or, or Alas. Or Mooney. Or maybe everyone. Notice that this time, Zero actually brought up Mooney, since Mooney is, you know, at 1 BP, thanks to our betrayal. What? Why? Yeah. Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break the rules. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. You mean the needles in our bracelets are going to activate and will die. Correct, Ziggy. Full marks. So, if I had been right, but how had she known before Zero told us? I see. Alice, Luna, and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. <laughs> After all, it's not like anybody else knew. Right? Right, Fido? Y yeah. Yeah, we do kind of need plushies of zero here. I guess so. I took a moment to go over everything in my head. If the AV game would continue until someone opened the number 9 door. There were no rules about how many people could or couldn't pass through the number 9 door. That meant it was possible for everyone to escape. The secondary chromatic doors could be opened by any number of people, so long as you had the right bracelets. The bracelets would only unlock under two conditions. If you left the building, or if your heart stopped. If your BP hit zero, the needles in your bracelet would activate, killing you. Uh oh! One last thing. The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. But wait! You've already got those bracelets! Have a look! The color's changed, hasn't it? Yeah, it did change. 
<laughs> Mine changed from red to cyan. Me too. <clears throat> Mine's cyan now. Mine too. Wait. I guess the colors weren't the only thing that changed. It switched from pair to solo. You're right. Mine switched from solo to pair. Mine is now a solo as well. Yep, looks like mine's changed too. I've gone from solo to pair. I'm still a pair. The three of us seem to be magenta now as well. I'm yellow. And it still says solo. Fi, you and Dio are yellow now too, right? Yeah. Looks like I'm a pair. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. And of course, it's <laughs> totally random. No rules or anything. Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. Aww. Sadly, we may never meet again. At least until I have to come back here. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here. <laughs> right? I'll... Yes, yeah, Zero is so sassy. Never. <laughs> See you guys again. <laughs> Have I beaten this game before? Yes. Several people in chat have not seen this game before, so... You know, no spoilers. Currently... Just to show you guys, new people... We've only taken one path out of here, and originally we allied with Luna. Then we went through the blue door, betrayed Kay, and hit the lock. For those of you that know what that means. And those of you that know what that means are the ones that have seen it before. This time, we went back, and we decided to betray Luna. And we're seeing where that goes. Did you really think I was going to cry? <laughs> Suckers! No raspberry, though. Should have had, had a raspberry come out there. What the? You fucking dick. <laughs> yeah, I... Where we go and if we ally betray, I leave it up to the chat to vote on. So the chat voted to ally with Luna and all that at the first shot. <laughs> you mad? Ugh. Anyway, good luck. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. I really like Zero here. Maybe. I'll see you again someday. Have a nice tragedy. So now that we have no more Zero... That little piece of shit. Just about all this is going to be the same. Yes, he did just say, you mad. And we have to go through all these again that we've done before. And this is pretty much where we started today's stream, so we are back here only on the betrayal path. Yeah, we're not going to get much further, it's almost time to call it a night.
But this changes a bit since we betrayed Luna last time, or we betrayed Luna this time. She's not going to be quite so enthusiastic about pairing up with us. We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only... And we have the same exact choices we had last time. Okay, so who's gonna go where? I'm not going with Kay. I had enough of that last time. Thank you very much. Oh dear. Seems I'm not wanted. I'd like Luna to come with us. Huh? Me? Need someone gullible for the next round? Hey, shut up. Aren't you my partner? Maybe. But I don't want her to think that means I agree with you. <sighs> you betrayed me last time, Fi. And Dio. You betrayed Tenmyoji. Ah, uh, come on. Didn't I tell you? It was Quark who... Dio! And notice Quark, at least for now, is not about to pass out. Stop saying that! Anyway, Fi and I won't be choosing Betray this time. Your BP's one right now, isn't it? If you chose Ally and we chose Betray, what would it be? Negative one. I'd die. I didn't want to say it straight out, but... yeah. How hard is it to play this game in order for most terrible person choices to least terrible person choices? Eh. Not that difficult if you actually know which ones make you the biggest jerk. We're not gonna go that far just to get out of here. Right, Fi? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to take a chance on you. Luna, are you sure about this? Yes, I've made up my mind. <sighs> then that means Quark and I will be going with Kay, since it looks like Alice is pretty determined. Yes, I am. Then I get to go with Alice again. I'm totally good with that. What I did to Alice last time was really bad. I want to try to make up for it. So we're going with option C then? That means each group is going through a complementary door. Sigma, Alice, and Clover are going through the red door. Ten Miyoji, Quark, and Kay are going through the green door. And finally, Dio, Luna, and I are going through the blue door. Any objections? Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. If there were any objections, there was no time for them. Let's go! The announcer's voice filled the room as we ran for our doors. Three, two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. As far as Dio's concerned, he can go impale himself on a saguaro cactus. Huh? Is this a dead end? There are three doors, but it looks like they're all locked. I wonder what this thing does. Well, it's got a lever. Can you pull that, Sigma? Sure thing. Huh? Well, that's interesting. It opened the door on the right. Hmm. That seems kind of weird. I mean, why just that one? What about the other two? Details, details. Hardly seems important to me. They gave us a way forward. I say we take it. Come along now. Without waiting for a response, Alice strode off towards the open door. Clover and I hurried to follow. And the 
into the pantry. Whoa, this is amazing. I need to shift some things around a bit. Yeah, I think I will go ahead and finish this room before the stream ends. Might as well. Okay. Who'd ever need this much underwear? <laughs> what? Well, I mean, all these boxes and stuff are panties, right? God damn it, Clover. And there are a lot of boxes. <laughs> panties? Isn't that what it said on the door? Clover, dear, it didn't say panty. <laughs> it said pantry. Pantry? It's where you keep food. Oh, I guess that makes more sense. <sighs> Her face had turned an especially amusing shade of red. What do you think that thing is? I'd say it's a water storage tank. It's totally full of water. The stuff on the shelves looks like it's mostly bread. Maybe a few pastries, but no panties. So, just a whole bunch of food, huh? Clover was right that there's a lot, though. Looks like you could live here for quite a while. I'd have to agree. Then, what do you think this place is for? Maybe it's where they quarantine sick people. What? Didn't we tell you about Radical Six? I guess that story really was true. You're saying that the only reason they've got all this food and water is so they can keep infected people here? That's ridiculous. I'm not infected with some weird ass disease. I don't want to spend the rest of my life locked up in a metal box. Me either. Giving us food is all well and good, but no spare underwear? That's unforgivable. Seriously? How long are you guys going to keep making fun of me for that? Right. Well, we need to search this room. So let's get started. 